Hi guys, how are you? This is Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations and I'm doing this impromptu live to share this Tuesday, today, our thrift haul. Um, I'm doing it on my own. Scott may or may not join. We'll see. But I got a few things. There's like five, six bags on the floor. Um, we went to, I don't know how many Goodwills and a Salvation Army. Um, lost count on the Goodwills. So these are not going to be in the order that we shopped or anything like that. I'll just tell you what I got. Hi, Marty. So this was the Salvation Army. And all I got there was some of this Karen Simply Soft. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten skeins of Simply Soft in. Times Square color scheme. And I'm getting weird lighting again. Hold, please. <laughs> While well, I try to get this lighting figured out. See if that does any better. So that was um, 10 skeins at 99 cents. So it was right at $10 for that yarn, which I thought was a really good deal. Hi, Natty and Angie and Riri. So I got those. So that got us started. I'll put it all back away in a minute. Then in this bag, this was a Goodwill that we went to. I found this, and it's somebody's art. And I got it for $1.89, and I just thought it was really pretty. So I had to bring it home for $1.89. So, I mean, somebody put some work into it. It looks pretty good. Got the reflections and everything. And then I got... This skein of Red Heart Soft Baby, um, it was $1.89. And I do, ha I did see, or at least I thought I did. Yeah, there's a little bit of a stain on the skein, a little bit, but it's not a lot. But there's enough here to make something for a baby boy or a girl. It doesn't have to be for a boy. And then I got this. I have no idea what this yarn is. And that lighting is driving me crazy. It's just a whole lot of light. It's hard to do videos at night. But I got this one for 89 cents. It's kind of coarse. But it doesn't feel like the coarseness I get with Red Heart. So I'm not sure what this is. It's a really old yarn. So who knows. Then I got this. I'm going to wash it. It's just, it's from Nordstrom's Rack. But I thought it was beautiful. And I was thinking I might learn to do a headscarf. To cover my head and keep my hair away from my face. But I thought it was really pretty. And it's from Nordstrom's. Ooh la la. 100% rayon. Machine wash on cold. Tumble dry on low. So that will get washed. And then I picked these up. And let's see if we can get them untaped without there being goo everywhere. That's the only thing I wish they wouldn't use packaging tape. But these looked like art cards. Let me see if I can get this off. 
And I thought, if nothing else, oh, uh, it's ruining this one, I think. No, maybe that, maybe not. Um, this would give me color combination inspiration. All right, on the back of this one, it's got all the, you know, internet icons, and then there's a web address there. It says at Ann Nielsen Home, um, delivers faith and with a flourish, creating art and lifestyle products that provide one of a kind beauty and quality while always giving to a higher purpose. So, but. I just thought they were pretty cards, art type cards, but they're angels, I think. There's some angels. So these might go, like, I might keep them for a while, and then I might start stick on, sticking them in happy mail when I send out friend, um, hearts of love. And they've got, like, Bible verses on the back. And I just thought they were pretty. So they're all really neat on the back. Now, I am not a religious person. And I will tell you that straight out. I'm not. Um, I can appreciate the faith. But I'm not a religious person. These are just so pretty. You see what I mean about the color scheme? Like her dress is peach, and then they've got yellow and red in the background, little blue. I just thought they were pretty. Oh, and they were, let me look at that tape now. $1.89 for this whole stack. And if, um, here's about it. The Angel Series from Ann Nielsen. The Angel Series began on a piece of paper as sketches reflecting my faith and evolved onto the canvas as ethereal abstract beings sculpted out of oil paint. Much like our lives, which start out as a blank canvas, we face trials and tribulations on the journey of life. Through these experiences, whether joyful or difficult, God adds color and texture along our paths to create a beautiful masterpiece. May these scriptures cards be an encouragement that God is our creator and a fulfiller of his promise to you. So I will keep them for their beauty and I will share them for the message. And it looks like there's repeats. So what I might do is find the repeats. Because they could also be pretty done as tiles in a frame, I think. So, anyway. And for $1.89, they had to come home with me. And then, another Goodwill bag. Hi, Lisa. Okay. Awesome, Marty. Okay, now, I saw this skein was at the front of the store, and remember my rule about yarn. Acrylic yarns are a dollar or two dollars and under, and wool, I'll pay as much as five dollars a skein in the thrift store. This was a dollar ninety five. I didn't see any more of the this one, and it's a um the size six, which is a really fat, chunky yarn. And I, I don't have a lot of that. But then we went to the back of this Goodwill and I found this one. And I found this one. And this one. And they were all $1.95. It's weird how some, some stores will be where they put 89 cents. 
or a dollar eighty nine, and then you go to a different Goodwill, and their pricing will be like one ninety five or two ninety five. And I was told that the different stores in the area have different pricing. I was told that at a Goodwill one time, so that's interesting. But anyway, after I found these three other skeins. I thought, hey, they kind of go together. It's almost like a neutral blanket. So maybe I will keep my eye out for this super bulky size six. Because, you know, this yarn, even with a big hook, you use a ball up really fast because it's so fat and dense. Like this only has 81 yards on it. And this skein of Simply Soft, which is a number four, has 235 yards. So the fatter the yarn, the smaller the skein really is as far as weight and yardage. So I got a ton of yarn. Scott said you are scoring in the, the yarn department like crazy. So I got four balls of the super bulky size. Then I got a baby weight. This is also four ply. Like I said, I don't know what this one is. I really don't think it is Red Heart. I think it's like Craft Smart, Michael's brand. That's what it feels like. And then I got 10 skeins of this. And I think that was all the yarn. So hi, Sh um, Shannon. I saw you're sick, Shannon. I'm sorry. I hope you get better. And Happy Maker. I'm sorry. I don't remember your name. And um, I don't know about any of you guys, but my hands are just splitting. All I got to do is close my hand and they split. Put lotion on. You know, I start doing stuff. I'm washing my hands and then I have to put lotion back on. And then sometimes when you put lotion on, then you can't open a bottle because your hand's just spinning around. Oh, it's crazy. Happy Carol. Okay, it's a carol. All right. Okay, then another Goodwill bag. And some of this bag's purchase got stuck in another bag because they were clanging together. So I found this wood tray. It probably had, yeah, Melissa and Doug. Anytime I find these Melissa and Doug boxes that their toys come in. I think they make cool shadow box projects. So for 95 cents, I picked that up. And there's Scott. And then I got these cool napkins for 95 cents. And they have houses on them. And I thought it could be fun to just put this napkin on a small canvas. And then with paint paint the houses in different colors. They're all saying, hi, Scott. Hi there. Barbara here? Barbara's here. And let's see, what else? I got this, and it's, a, um, Scott said it was made in the USA, so you know it's old. <laughs> and it's a, I don't, do you remember what this is called? This pottery, the browns? I, there's, Maybe, uh, well, it's by that looks like RRP Company in Roseville, Ohio. I don't know, but I thought for paint brushes, this could be nice. I paid a dollar ninety five for it. It could even be good to put put a plant pot inside it pot and plant. just put a pot plant inside it. Like <laughs> put the um, potted plant in it, not pot. Okay, <laughs> smart Alec. Anyway, it's never a dull moment around here, people. Let me dig out the other thing that I got at that store. There's one more. I will laugh about that the rest of the night. Put a pot plant <laughs> <laughs> They're probably all laughing too, going, that's Scott. All right, I found these 
And I thought I could have one for some cool watercolors, one for some warm watercolors, and one to just put some neutrals in. Aren't they cool? They're ceramic. I paid $1.95. Oh, about the prices also. The prices I'm giving you is not actually what I paid because today is Old Fart Tuesday. So we got 25% off. So I'll let you guys do that math. Marty says, my secret is out now. <laughs> He's laughing in the back. He's cackling in the background. I'm going to set these down. Um, I, I thought it was hilarious when we got something to drink at Sonic. And young man wanted to know if we wanted our receipt. <laughs> yeah. They, young people don't get their receipts. Um, all right. Now, the rest is from the bins. Because it's in this great big bag because you have a big, basically a roll around trash can and they just put one of these in. And then when you check out, you just take your bag and they put a new bag in the trash can. So I saw three of these big envelopes that I like to paint and send out. So those were there. And then this was just pretty. It's just a picture, and it says it is Lavender Stuttgart, July 2005. Oh. It's just a photo, oh. but I guess that's Lavender, and I thought it was pretty. And then I got these. This this stuff is all by the pound, and I think we spent like nine dollars at the bins. Do you need to cut this open? Oh, Do you have your knife? No, there's a green one right there. If you just hand it to me. I'm getting my fingers to work. Yeah, I think we're tired. Um, Scott went into work and didn't realize he's off until the third. They didn't tell him. So he drove all the way down there for nothing. It was a nice drive. You could bring that other chair and sit next to it. I was sitting all day. Oh, you want to stand? Yeah, we've been driving all over. Well, I fixed the drippy faucets in the shower. Yeah, he fixed the... It wasn't really the faucet, though. It was the, the handles on the shower. Oh, I'm going to keep the band because it's got butterflies on it. Might have to take Tippy to the vet. He's been sneezing a lot. But these are three different little notepads. These would be perfect to just have near you to write down things that inspire you or that idea collection stuff. You know. You should try to stock up on yarn when you can get it cheap. I do. <laughs> All right, now at the bins, there was fabric on those long, heavy, oh, I forgot about that. Um, the heavy cardboard tubes. So what I did, because I didn't want to pay for the weight of the cardboard tubes, I just took hold of the fabric and went like that and left the tubes in the bins. So this looks like um, Dupioni silk. And it is, um, it's, I think it's definitely Dupioni silk. Dupioni has those little lines like in it, like this. And I got a little bit. I got all of this doubled. So I'm going to gently wash this stuff because it's been in the bins. I will um, surge the cut edges. So we'll just guesstimate one. Two, three, four, about four and a half. Shut my mouth. About four and a half yards. And then this, I'm not sure of what type of fabric. I think it's some form of upholstery. And there wasn't a lot. There's like a yard. But it would make the front of a man's vest, and then you could use black silk on the back. But it's real pretty. I think that's black and gold. 
So again, I will surge the edges before I, I wash this stuff. And then this one is the one, this is my favorite. And this has about a yard and a third, one and a third yard. And it's butterflies. I'm sorry about the lighting, you guys. I, I've tried everything. And this was all by the pound. I think it was $1.89 a pound. And then this, I have a lot of this. And it is a, what do they call this? Seersucker. Um, but it looks old. What is that called? Um, oh, I can't remember. Homespun. That's it. So this I got one, about two and a half. But it is, I think, about 58 inches wide. So there's a lot of fabric here. And that's another one that I will surge before I wash it. And that is my Goodwill haul. Well, Goodwill Salvation Army haul. And we'll put everything that needs to be washed in here. And I will surge those edges in the morning. I'm too tired to do it tonight. Because... Scott caught him a little kind of sort of nap. I did not. I've been going since I got up this morning. I got up, made him breakfast, got him out to work. And while he was gone down to where he works and back, because that's like two hours round trip. It takes 45 minutes and 45 minutes to get back. Something like that. Well, while he was going and then coming back, I got all of the Christmas de decorations down and I put them away. So he came in and he was like, oh, nice. Nice. This is all done. So he didn't have to help with any of that. <laughs> and um, after that, while he was napping, I went and put some gas in the truck because we about ran, ran the tank empty. And then I went into the grocery store and bought a bunch of groceries. Oh, and I also balanced the checkbook and paid bills before I left. So after I got done at the grocery store, then I drove around by the post office, dropped the bills off, came home, unloaded all of that and said, hey, you want to go for thrifting? And then all afternoon was spent driving around to thrift stores. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And we've had a very busy day. So that is all I have for that. So let me see what you guys are saying. Isn't that butterfly fabric gorgeous? I wish there was just a little bit more um, of that. I'm going to see what I can make out of it. I have like this simple shift sundress pattern. I think it's in here. Or I may have put it up. I had it in this pocket. I must have put it up. But I think it only takes about two yards because it's a sundress. And if I have enough, I might make it. Because it's made to be made out of a woven. And Journey's here. They don't give you a discount on Tuesdays at your Goodwill? I know Pam, made by Pam, says they don't get any discount. I think except military discount. But here on Tuesdays at the Goodwills, they give you 25% um, off. Yep. And I think today is Angie's birthday. From what Mary was saying this morning. And Nettie says she doesn't get any discount. Um, yeah, uh, they have that big sign at the front that tells you, um, what color of the labels, you know, like the, the, these labels, I think this week's was the clothes were 50% off blue tags. I think it was, 
And then the yellow tags in merchandise was 25 off, but I, I didn't get any yellow tags. Oh, I'm sorry, Cheryl. Cheryl says her goodwill sucks. They didn't mind giving me a bunch of bags. I'm going to put the, the fat yarn in a different bag than the lighter weight yarn. And I don't know where I'll hang that little painting, but it, it was just too pretty to leave behind. i got to share it again because it's pretty. So if you're watching my video and you painted this AR, looks like A-R-Y. It's hard to see the signature there. It's very pretty, and I liked it enough to bring it home. I'm just picking this back up so that it's not a mess. So, that was my Old Fart Tuesday haul. Tomorrow is Wednesday. And I'm going to play it by ear. I would like to um, do a, another page in my, my rainbow journal. But if Scott and I get up to something while I've got him home, I'm going to see if we can't get some things done around here. So I'm not going to say if I'm going to be on or not tomorrow because I just, I have to play it by ear. Depends on how he's feeling. So that was everything. This is just so pretty. It's just a photo somebody took, but it's just gorgeous. And I love that there's a couple walking in the background there. They probably don't even know they're in somebody's picture. All right, guys. Play it by Scott. Yeah. I don't know what we'll get into. Um, he He's fixed the, the faucet handles in the shower that we're using. All three of us are using right now while we're remodeling the bathroom. Um, they had started to drip when the shower was on. So if you backed up and got under the hot water, that was an experience in its own right. Um, yeah, so he's got that fixed so we won't get burnt in there. And um, there's other little chores we need to get done. And it would be nice if we could work a little bit on the bathroom. It's just been so cold. Um, we haven't wanted to do much. I guess I'll let you guys go because I don't have anything else to say. And Shannon says she's going to wait and see how she feels tomorrow to find out if she is going to stream. Um, my son was quite sick over Christmas and I just started telling him, I said, you've got to take a decongestant every four hours, every four hours, take a decongestant. I said, don't, don't let it get impacted or compacted in your sinuses because then you will get a sinus infection. I said, there's so much you can do before you go to a doctor, you know, on your own with over the counter. Um, so I finally got him doing that and he, he went to work tonight. So, all right, guys, I will see you later sometime. Take care. Have a great night. Bye. Howard.